Okay, so if I'm asked as to why I chose Ames Bhuneshwar, the first thing that comes into my mind is that it is a central government institute and also an institute of national importance. So that is a great plus point vis-a-vis -vis the state colleges, I think, precisely because here uh, most of the faculty members, they are from premier institutes of the country like Ames, New Delhi, PGI Chandigarh or JIPMER. And we have a regular stringent course curriculum, regular classes, practicals, everything is held properly. And uh, the facilities basically that are of supreme quality as in any INI or Institute of National Importance. And also the batch strength is 100. Uh, which has now been increased to 125 which is half that of the state colleges which have a batch strength of average 250 students per batch so all of this combined and the fact that being a central institute it is devoid of any kind of political influence uh, which is uh, sometimes a cause of concern especially in my state of west bengal so all these factors uh, made it an obvious choice for me Apart from the fact that it was geographically close to my place, uh, after Ames Delhi, Ames Bhuneshwar is the nearest Ames to Ames, uh, nearest Ames to West Bengal. Uh, after, of course, Ames Kalyani, which was founded in 2019, that was one year later, I joined. So another thing that uh, I took into account when I joined Ames Bhuvaneshwar was that uh, being a central institute, it has a cosmopolitan culture. Here we have students from all corners of the country, uh, be it from Kerala in the south to Rajasthan in the north to the northeast and of course my state of West Bengal and the state of Odisha. So here you live in a community where the best brains of the country from all states of the country come together and then you study together you go to clinics together and you stay in the hostel together participating in a lot of activities so that cosmopolitan culture is something that the state colleges usually would not give you so that uh, you know uh, widens your horizon of thinking to a great extent i feel and that is one opportunity which was too good for me not to take when i decided to join aims back in 2018 and of course, the hostel life being a, a compulsory residential college where all students stay in the hostel. We have lots of clubs. The lit I am a literature enthusiast, so we have. I'm a member of the literary club, the cultural club, then sports. A lot of sports facilities are there. So the extracurricular activities are also a big part of our daily lives because all of us stay in the hostel. So we have a life from eight to five during which we study, and then we party harder, we enjoy harder during five to eight, which is the hostel life, which probably I would have never got had I taken Medical College Kolkata. Then I would have been a day scholar. So this hostel life of the UG days would is a part of college life which I think no student should miss out on so because of all these factors I decided to choose Ames Bhuneshwar and I still feel that uh, that was a great decision taken thank you so it was in 2018 uh, when I cleared Ames and joined here uh, back then my NEET rank was something around uh, 1024 and uh, my Ames rank was uh, 434 or something so um, there I was, uh, I would have gotten something in the All India quota, but then again it would have been uh, some state college somewhere. So uh, my, I have always been oriented for research since, uh, you know, before I joined uh, uh, MBBS, I had that kind of a mindset. So I was always wanting to uh, prefer a central institution uh, where, you know, people are enthusiastic and excited about uh, uh, research. I was uh, also in contact with uh, one of my uh, seniors, uh, previously she had gotten a very good rank and uh, she joined. She decided to join uh, this institute. So when I was talking to her, uh, she, uh, she, sp she spoke about this institute and I, uh, and I realized how it is different from other uh, places around the country. So yeah, that was another factor uh, that influenced me into uh, taking this uh, uh, college. Adding to that, uh, I had checked on the internet various uh, colleges, uh, various colleges uh, that are AIMS, the six AIMS that had opened in 2012. Uh, of all of them, AIMS uh, Bhuvneshwar had the highest ranking. There, there was always some dispute between AIMS Bhuvneshwar and uh, AIMS Jodhpur on various websites. But then uh, AIMS Bhuvneshwar, I think, had an upper edge. So I decided to choose uh, uh, the institute here. 
so also when you go to various state colleges if you have done good in neat you will get various state colleges which will be pretty good but then uh, some states have another issue that uh, there is a bond uh, regarding uh, uh, that you have to work in the college uh, in the same state for a few years after you pass out so that was another thing i uh, did not really like i kind of would want to enjoy the freedom that you get at a central institute um similarly another thing is a 5k rupee fee which is uh, very minimal makes the college uh, very affordable even if you come from a low financial background a 5k fee one time fee for 5 uh, years should not be a problem for anyone lastly um, these six new aims that have come up all of them not just for uh, aims bhubaneswar all of these are new in, uh, institutes and uh, they aspire to grow so all of these new facilities are coming up and uh, you know everyone is enthusiastic about research you know they are trying to push their college to uh, up, like higher into the rankings so the environment here is uh, really good people are all enthusiastic uh, towards research towards you know increasing their clinical acumen and stuff like that so such an atmosphere you will find in a central institute that to an institute that is growing um, in the order that our college is growing right now and also for uh, those students who uh, would like to pursue their pg abroad so uh, you know a few colleges in india uh, have left their mark in uh, colleges abroad one of them being aims uh, if you're not getting aims delhi you still having a tag of aims um, would be great a great thing in your cv so very few institutes in india are recognized abroad aims jipmer and afmc are uh, the few institutions that are recognized again the problem in afmc is that you have to work for 7 years as a bond or else you will have to pay some 29 30 uh, lakh rupees uh, whatever the bond uh, money is so to uh, to you know pursue your pg abroad right after you finish your mbbs so that was another factor uh, that i took into consideration while uh, taking admission at aims okay so hello so i am being asked to speak about why i chose aims over my state medical college i am from kerala okay so first and foremost the thing which i guess most people would say about is the brand value okay i mean it's undeniable i mean uh when you tell someone you are from aims as opposed to some other medical colleges you can actually see the amazement or wonderment or whatever it is in their eyes because aims is supposed to be in a different league altogether like it's supposed to be the premier institute of the country i mean admittedly uh, aims bhubaneswar has a bit less brand value than aims delhi but still the aims wala brand tag is there it's always going to be there like uh once i was preparing for neat uh, like i thought i will just get into some kerala medical college and be done with it that was my aim actually like uh, there was a medical college just near my house kotta medical college i was i meant to get into that that was my aim during neat preparation and i didn't really think that i would even consider aims as an option but then uh, neat got over aims got over ranks came and then came the possibility that i might get a seat in aims bhubaneswar and that's when people started talking to me like uh, my teachers at that time my friends a lot of people started telling me ki if you are getting a chance at aims why are you turning it down like it's you are never going to get this chance again like aims is always going to be different uh, it has better infrastructure like that's in the second point like aims in itself we have central government funding it has a lot of funding it, it can construct new buildings it can have new equipments it will always have state of the art equipments in all the departments so the infrastructure at aims cannot be compared to state medical colleges like uh, once we come here from second year onwards itself we'll get single rooms and stuff so the level of comfort and everything that we get here is uncomparable like uh, compared to my uh, classmates in 11th and 12th who joined state medical colleges they would be Ha, ha, having like five people in a room or something while we are having just one person per room we can customize the room however we want we can do anything so the amount of facilities we get is a lot and then come the fees as well you know like uh for five years we are studying for just five thousand rupees that's just thousand rupees per year and that compared to what we are getting it's a huge difference okay so that was the second reason that i chose aims then uh what and next would be like uh see aims Uh, versus other medical colleges just like our teachers they tell us ki uh, aims is not just for producing doctors it's for producing healthcare leaders so that's the thing like here they uh, they'll be giving us opportunities to do research then uh, if we are studying here as compared to other medical colleges we'll be having a better shot at usmle pg and rances all of this stuff we have a better cho- chance here because our learning is oriented in that way like uh, 
when we are learning we'll be learning international law those and stuff so our learning is completely directed towards that way and we'll be learning standard textbooks all of that so all of that uh, if you want to go abroad all of that you get an opportunity at aims so that was another reason why i preferred aims and then finally the most crucial part for me was actually not any of this it was that i wanted to try out something new i wanted independence i wanted freedom like uh, if i was to study in my home state then i would be kind of limited i'll be only exposed to one culture but once i came to aims i had got to interact with a lot of people from south to north from uh, people from kashmir to kerala from arunachal to gujarat all of these people i got to interact with and it exposed us to new ideas you know and then it will be like in the future it will be a lot useful because i will have connections all across the country and then all of this exposure to new cultures and beliefs and customs it makes us grow as better individuals because we'll all be learning from each other so that was also a good thing and then uh, once i came here once uh, like i am completely alien here okay i was someone who did not know hindi i didn't know odia and then i was put in a place which did not speak english or malayalam or whatever language i was comfortable with these people here were not comfortable with so i was completely out of my element but then i had to learn how to adapt i had to adjust and everything so in the process me i became way better than when I, who i was when i first came here so all of that are the reasons why i preferred aims of my state medical colleges thank you तो 2018 में जब मेरा सिलेक्शन हुआ तो ऑब्वियसली बातें दो ऑप्शन थे मेरे पास आई स्टेट कॉलेज और सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट के लिए तो उस टाइम पे जब काउंसलिंग स्टार्ट हुआ था तो दोनों ही काउंसलिंग के जो टाइमिंग्स थे वो क्लैश हो रहे थे स्टेट और ऑल इंडिया के काउंसलिंग दोनों ही क्लैश हो रहे थे तो उस टाइम पर फिर मैंने ये सोचा कि अब मैं एलिमिनेट करना शुरू करता हूँ कॉलेज को कि कौन सा कॉलेज फाइनली मुझे प्रेफर करना है तो फिर मैं स्टार्टिंग मैंने ये सोचा कि यूपी के स्टेट्स में मुझे जनरली कॉलेज उतना मन नहीं कर रहा था तो मैंने पहले ही मन बना लिया था कि मुझे स्टेट कॉलेज तो नहीं लेना है करके आ, फिर सेकंड मैंने सोचा कि अब मैं एम्स को एलिमिनेट करना शुरू करता हूँ कि कौन सा एम्स फाइनली मुझे लेना है क्योंकि आफ्टर एम्स ले ली तो छः एम्स जो लिस्ट में थे उस टाइम पर तो आ, जब मैंने नेट पर रैंकिंग चेक किया तो एम्स ऋषिकेश जो स्टार्टिंग से हमेशा दिखाया जाता है नीचे तो एम्स ऋषिकेश पटना ये सब पहले एलिमिनेट हो चुके थे बचे थे एम्स भोपाल जोधपुर एंड एम्स भुवनेश्वर जिन तीनों के बीच में मुझे डिसीजन लेना था देन एम्स जोधपुर मैंने उसके मेनली जोधपुर के रखे क्लाइमेट की वजह से नहीं लिया मुझे लगा वहाँ पे ज़्यादा ही गर्मी वगैरह कुछ होगा तो एम्स जोधपुर वैसे लिमिनेट किया फिर बचे थे भुवनेश्वर एंड भोपाल तो फाइनली आफ्टर काफ़ी सर्च वगैरह किया मैंने नेट पर फिर फाइनली मैंने डिसाइड किया कि भुवनेश्वर ज़्यादा बेटर एज़ कम्पेयर टू भोपाल एंड अदर रीज़न वॉज कि जब मैं काउंसलिंग करा था तो वैसे तो मैंने ऊपर भुवनेश्वर को ही सबसे पहले फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी दिया था आफ्टर Uh, जब फर्स्ट राउंड uh, का रिजल्ट आया तो मुझे भुवनेश्वर मिल गया था तो मैंने सोचा अब मैं ज़्यादा uh, और ऑब्वियसली बात मैं उस टाइम पे चेंज भी नहीं कर सकता तो फाइनली मैं भुवनेश्वर के uh, दूसरा चीज़ कि मैंने सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट क्यों प्रेफर किया था स्टेट के ऊपर ऑब्वियसली एक जो एम्स का टैग है वो तो आपको मिल ही जाएगा हमेशा और दूसरा जब मैं हॉस्टल uh, लाइफ भी एक्सपीरियंस करना चाहता तो मैं चाहता था कि मैं घर से दूर एक कॉलेज लूँ ना कि सिर्फ यूपी में एक कॉलेज ले लूँ तो इसलिए मैंने थोड़ा आउटर स्टेट्स में ही देखना प्रेफर किया कि आइधर भोपाल और एम्स भुवनेश्वर को ही प्रायोरिटी देना है फिर थर्ड पॉइंट इज़ कि जब मैंने एम्स का फीस देखा तो जो कि 5.5 के था जो कि काफ़ी कम था तो जिससे काफ़ी ज़्यादा इजी रहता है कि आपको बार बार फैमिली को ट्रेवल नहीं करना होगा कि हर साल आपको फीस पे करना है करना है सिर्फ एक बार आपको फीस पे करना फिर आप फिर आप कम्फर्टेबली पढ़ सकते हैं गुड इवनिंग मैं पुरुषोत्तम सुनील बच्चा फ्राम महाराष्ट्र और मैं अब सेकेंड ईयर एम में पढ़ रहा हूँ एम्स भुवनेश्वर में तब जब काउंसलिंग का टाइम चल रहा था तब स्टेट कॉलेजेस और एम्स ऑल इंडिया काउंसलिंग को को लैप्स हो रहे थे तो मैंने ऑल इंडिया काउंसलिंग के लिए प्रेफरेंस दिया द रीज़न इज़ दैट ऑल इंडिया काउंसलिंग में यू हैव टू चांस टू गेट एडमिशन इन द सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट और मैंने सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट को ज़्यादा ही कुछ इम्पोर्टेंस दिया क्योंकि जब हम सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट में पढ़ते हैं तब बाकी सब सारे स्टेट से स्टूडेंट्स मिलते हैं तब सब स्टेट्स का कल्चर भी मिलता है हमें ज़्यादा पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट अच्छी होती है मोर इंफॉर्मेशन वी गेट और जब मैं ऑल इंडिया काउंसलिंग कर रहा था तब मेरे पास दो ऑप्शन थे एक था कि मैं एक तो एम्स जोधपुर में जाऊँ नहीं तो एम्स भुवनेश्वर में जाऊँ तब मैंने इंटरनेट पे कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन चेक की जब पी एग्ज़ाम के मैंने रिजल्ट चेक किए तब एम्स भुवनेश्वर मुझे बेटर लगा और यही तो मेन रीज़न है व्हाई वी चूज एम्स भुवनेश्वर आफ्टर जब ये मैं यहाँ पे आया 
तब देखा कि यहाँ पर कैंपस कैसा है कैंपस इज़ सो ब्यूटीफुल सिटी इज़ ऑल्सो वेरी ब्यूटीफुल जब एकेडमिक ईयर स्टार्ट हुआ तब कॉलेज में देखा तो एजुकेशन क्वालिटी इज मोस्ट मीन्स मोस्ट एट्रेक्टिव है यहाँ पे कल्चरल इवेंट्स भी किए जाते हैं जो अच्छे होते हैं बहुत ही अच्छे होते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू मार्क्स मुझे एम्स दिल्ली तो मिल नहीं रहा था तो मेरे पास थे ऑल अदर ऑप्शन ऑफ एम्स तब उसमें से एम्स भुवनेश्वर सबसे आगे था क्योंकि एम्स पीजी में जो सिलेक्शन हुए थे वो भुवनेश्वर से सबसे अच्छे थे यही बात है जो मुझे यहाँ पे खींच के लेके आई है